Hey everybody, what's up? Today we are in Farm Sim 19. We are looking at this Ford Super Duty single cab. I found a cop up got it my couple trucks. But anyways, I wanted to start off my short to show you the store. Show you how many options this thing has. This thing has like a million options. Like I don't even know how many. Probably like 25. But anyways, so first off, um you can make this in all sorts of things. So I wanted this to be a work truck. Um, I only had the work truck front grill, so I got rid of all the high trim levels. So this is just a work truck. You can still get some more better better uh, better wheels on it. Um more up level wheels. Uh, these are just the base model wheels but as you can see um black uh grill. Uh the design colors, the bumpers, so you got your black plastic. Um, chrome. I've seen some work trucks with the chrome grill. Some with the black. You can get a black here. Um, it's, they're all the same as the uh, body, except they added the black plastic. Uh, so the back bumper too. There you go. So you can make them both that color. I like this car. I love this color actually. I think this color is awesome. You got. 250, 350, and 450. Uh, I also just want to say I did not make this. I've assembled this in a couple of trucks. Um, the it was originally a crew cab long bed. The had all the options on it. I just put this in the cab, the cab on. But you got all these things here: 250, 350. Uh, I changed the suspension uh, for the 350, and I put some better wheels on it. I like the trim of this. Looks pretty sweet. Um, let's, you can get a winch or a plow. It is a plow. Uh, you can see the winch there. It does let you grab trees and pull trees and stuff. Uh, so we'll get the plow though. I want to show you the plow. Uh, there's a million different hitch options. It's kind of a pain. But you can get just a drop hitch. And a pencil hitch. And then a uh, gooseneck. Fifth wheel. Whatever. Here's the pencil. With the uh, gooseneck, we'll do that. And bumper guard, you can put a brush guard up front. Looks pretty cool. You can get a black or a chrome one. And the bed, you can get a fuel tank as well. Or a tool, uh, toolbox, or the bed cover, or a cap. A cap looks pretty cool too. On the tailgate, you can get a fifth wheel. Or the standard. I also made an option to take the you know, off. They can put a salt there and that. We'll do that. Um, plates. There were a couple things in here. I added one. Um, going with the John Deere dealer theme, I added this. This is my local John Deere dealer, Lanco, and it has a New York license plate on it. With, uh, I'm going to remember my mods sequentially. So I started with 8A902. Um, there's what 88903 is coming soon, but we're at 88904 too. I just kind of started working on things out of order. Um, no tailgate. Uh, you can get four wheel drive, two wheel drive. Uh, let's go with the single rear with a four by four left bar. I can't figure out that why it's missing. I've added it in two places. Missing whatever. Uh, so it's got a light bar there. Pretty cool little. Blade. I've never seen that in any other trucks before, so um, I added that. Um, you can get an XL or a 250, rear 350, so that's it. That's what we would get to the 250, but the little, little moldings, I don't know why, but um, stock bed. You can get all kinds of soil fifth wheels, I don't want that. But that's, that's a little run through for all the options. There used to be more, but I kind of took some away to make it so it all works correctly. Uh, let's take those Land Pro decals off. They have some white trucks, so wouldn't look good with this. Um, of course, these change. They change the trim level as well. But anyway, let's go ahead and buy that. And we got a yellow plow. They look great together. I just know it. There we go. This map is just hard on your computer. 
Um, I don't think I have a solver. Oh, yes, we do. Okay. Here we go. Here's the solver. Let's go to our fisher solver. Go to my fisher file. And do. Mirrors work. All the interior. It's nice. Gauges don't work. I just didn't feel like making those work. You gotta put the uh, tailgate down. Oh, it's not there. Put the tailgate down. And then away you go. Alright, so let's go ahead. All the lights work, obviously. So you got your plow rig here. That would be kind of cool to put the cap on that too. Like a stealth solver setup. But anyways, there we go. There's our F-250 with the Fisher plows out and Fisher salter. I mean, this is a pretty good looking truck. If you ask me. I really like this generation of Super Duty, and that's why I wanted to make this single cab work truck. somewhere as you can see it goes pretty fast this map is hard on the computer though so I would not get into this for a second um, let's go around here we'll show you the suspension it's pretty sweet um, I didn't I didn't need the suspension or anything but I just think that all these options and everything that was on the original truck really nice to see As you can see, it's got some suspension. Uh, you put down a plow, fix the truck up, put it up, lower it down a little bit. Uh, this Fisher plow is not available for downloading. I will be making a version of this Fisher plow. It, there's going to be a Blizzard, there's going to be this Fisher, and then there's going to be the original Western plow. All three of those plows are so they're kind of all the same plow. You just just get them. Uh, you shouldn't really have the brush guard on there with the plow. Uh, it kind of works, kind of clips through. But you can see you've got the XL trip on. I don't believe you can actually get this car in the XL trim on the wheel. Obviously, we don't tell them when you should. I don't know if you can get these trucks without telling them. Yeah, it's a good use. But anyways, this is the truck here. I really like this mod. Uh, I put a lot of work into it. Just making sure everything kind of works together and um, getting players cleaned up and switching stuff over. All the lights work obviously. I'll show you that. I'll show you that at dark. Looks like a pretty sweet truck if you ask me. Got the plow lights on. Unfortunately, The um, when you have you can't make it so that the truck lights turn off and you have to plow. That's how you would really have it. But I mean, I mean yeah, I actually might be able to do that, but that's not just do that. But anyways, uh, cab lights work, beacon on top works, salted lights work, rear tail lights. works. And on that dashboard when you, when you turn the brights on or the other lights and then the brights your indicators in the dash light up. Same with the steering wheel. Anyways, oh, I ran into the fence. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. If you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me your thoughts down below. Uh, I'll leave a link on where you can download this truck as well. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again in the next video.